Hey everyone, Brennan Mejia here. In my hands is a scrapbook I made of the time I was filming Power Rangers Dino Charge, full of never before seen behind the scenes pictures and information and all sorts of good stuff. The reason I made this actually was because one of the producers on Power Rangers challenged myself and the other Power Ranger cast members to make scrapbooks and the winner got a prize, something really cool uh, and unique. So let's look through the scrapbook together and I'll tell you if I won and what I might have won at the end. All right, so before I show you the inside of the scrapbook, there's a bunch of loose papers. If I recall correctly, a lot of this was fan mail that was sent to us while filming. So just different things that I wanted to include in the scrapbook. Couldn't tell you. Okay, oh, this one says who it's from. Okay, so actually this was from SAC Anime. So I guess some of these were from conventions. I did that convention again the other month. These are cool, you know, from Blue Cat Arts. I'm assuming similar style. And then this one from Brandon Mark. Thanks, Brandon. And uh, this one, Ranger Stop from Steve Otto. Cool, all right, so now that we've looked through the loose papers, let's look at what I actually have inside. You know, obviously, <laughs> you can tell which ranger is which. We're kind of color-coded like crayons. So we got Yoshi Blue, Brennan, who is me, red, and then Michael Tabor Green. Uh, we actually went to a convention in New Zealand. I think it was Armageddon Con. Uh, so we walked around, you know, obviously repping Power Rangers. So that's what that picture was from. We are so proud of you, love your Abrams family. This was uh, my agency, so they sent me like a, you know, hooray, congratulations for booking Power Rangers. These are cupcakes. I can't remember the name of the cupcake place, but my wife and I would go there um, more often than we probably should have. Despite loving fitness, I also sometimes love sweets. Don't tell anyone. Uh, oh, there's my wife. Okay, speaking of, there's Caitlin. Uh, table of contents. I didn't even realize I made that. Man, I'm so in depth sometimes, but not really other times. Here's me doing a handstand on a cannon, but you never saw that before. That was at a museum. Um, actually, I think this was the museum that our you know, whole season takes place, like where our base is in Dino Charge. So we would film set pieces where they would set up a fake museum for part of it, but then we actually, I think only twice, they rented out the actual museum after hours uh, so we could get some of the shots in some of the areas that were harder to make a set of. And then we'd turn a corner and then we'd be back in the Ranger sets on the studio lot. Um, but yeah, so that's when I went to the place on my own uh, with my wife and we did, you know, well, I did handstands. Um, there's me as the Prince of Xandar. You know, I look pretty dapper if I do say so myself. Uh, here, my wife and I ran into two friends that we performed with at the San Diego Zoo doing circus. We went to, so the person who plays Keeper, our mentor in the suit, her name is Eve and she owns a circus school in New Zealand. And our friends Bags and Valentina were there visiting or performing or doing something or a workshop. And so we saw them while we were filming and went down to her circus. Uh, this was a crazy jungle gym near one of our producer's houses. I mean, this jungle gym was so big and high up off the ground that I, being an acrobat, was still kind of sketchy being at the top of it. And I was like, man, in America, it's like everything is so like, don't make it too dangerous so someone doesn't get hurt and fall and sue someone. And there it's like, well, if you fall, it's your own fault. So, which I don't know, I thought it was kind of like, that's just a cool playground. Um, here, is a, a picture of us meeting uh, Mr. Saban, the one and only time. So you can tell which one is him if you know the rest who are the cast members. And then this was when I was uh, announced as the Red, well not announced, I found out I was the Red Power Ranger. They held a final fake audition where I had to come in and basically in the audition they handed me this treasure box and I had to open it and it had that uh, laminated picture saying congratulations you're the Red Power Ranger. Uh, I didn't know it was a fake thing. I thought it was a real audition. So when I looked at it, I was all confused with what was happening. And then the next page, uh, some more loose photos. So we got the whole cast photo um, and production. So in the crew, so this was like everyone. For some reason, Yoshi and I are shirtless in the front. <laughs> you know, broshi. And uh, then there's some other artwork in here that people made us. Oh, I got a happy birthday card. Hmm. Oh, I forgot this was in here. So this is from um, the cast and crew. So super sweet. And then this says Lucas. For those who did not know, my character's name initially was Lucas, not Tyler. And you can actually find some of the original toys say Lucas on them when they say like, Lucas uh, loves adventure and is looking for his dad instead of Tyler. So that's that. 
Uh, of course, I had to go to Hobbiton while I was in New Zealand because what else do you go to New Zealand for except finding hobbits and saving the world from, uh, you know, Sauron and stuff. So this was just like the little area. It was amazing. I loved going to Hobbiton and I definitely would love to go back. Um, we got uh, welcome. Power Rangers welcomes you to Auckland. So it's just like information about Auckland, which is, you know, the city we were living in when filming in New Zealand. Uh, the other side... We get a list of stuff about toys, um, explaining, I guess, Bandai, and uh, just it's some of the first toys that came out for Dino Charge. Cool deal. And then, <clears throat> it's like the little patch that's on my suit, you know, the thing that gets ironed on, so I got one of those. And then for episode uh, one and two, they actually did a screening. They rented out a movie theater in New Zealand. They as in the production team. So that's what this was. So I RSVP'd that I was going and then I went and then I saw the episodes in a movie theater, which was pretty cool. Here's my helmet. Uh, I don't know who made that. Thank you whoever made that. And then we got the team! Again, I like to collect, you know, the fan art people will give me, but then it started becoming like so much over the years of conventions, I don't really know where to put all of it. So some of it's in my garage and what's not. Um, here is a, basically our call sheet. So this explains, you know, like what the calls are, what's going on, what we're doing for the day, um, you know, studio stuff, main call unit. It gives our call time. So let's see, today, my pickup for this episode, which was shoot day one of nine. Uh, my pickup time was 6 a.m. Uh, Yoshi's was 5.30. Uh, Camille was 5.30, other people were 5.30. Then it says where you go, like wardrobe, 6.15. So 15 minutes to get there, then you're in wardrobe within the first few minutes. Then hair and makeup for me was 6.45. Uh, then on set by 7.30 and it has shave at 6.30 as a remark. So like, that's like the reminder that what I have to do. Um, interesting. And then like that day under stunts, so they had like a stunt double for Chase on his skateboard um, and a stunt double for Yoshi, probably a fight scene. Not that he can't do the fights himself, but again, just timing wise, we can't do all of it all the time. Other notes in a call sheet would be like, okay, we're gonna move, set move, and this is where we're going. Tyler overhears the monster's plan. Exterior woods at rocks. Uh, thick woods, Tyler weaved through the bush following Fury. So yeah, just, it's fun. Jumping over to the next page. This was a lot of myself and Caitlin doing circus in different areas in New Zealand or just being cute. Look, there's me in the suit, ha <laughs> um, And then I started doing a selfie with every monster of the week. So we got, you know, like Ice Age, we got uh, Snide, Sledge, uh, Arcanon. I forgot his name, I forgot his name. Um, but I remember what they did. Like, you know, he stung Yoshi with like, our Blue Ranger with the stinger and made him a bad guy for an episode. But uh, yeah, so which is your favorite? You know, it's always fun walking around, taking the selfies and just different monsters. And then we got, you know, Wrench and uh, Doomwing and a candle dude, I forgot his name, and the guy who turns us into statues. <laughs> and we got the scissor guy who cut our friendship bonds. This was the sand dune episode where we got to surf down sand dunes and crash, it was fun. This is the one where we turned to zombies, but from music. So it wasn't like you get bit. Uh, Yoshi, our Blue Ranger Coda, saved us by summoning his um, cyborg version of himself that we made in that episode. So that was a cool acting episode because the guy playing the robot version of Coda was like a really good dancer who could like, you know, move very robotically. Um, yeah. And then I think this was the wish monster. This was someone who <laughs> um, basically made me think I was in love with them because they had the ability to like turn into I don't know, people of your dreams or something. And then this is the ninja dude that I fought when I lost control because a dino charger got hacked and then you meet my dad as the Aqua Ranger because he saves me. Uh, this was the summer episode where like the sun's rays made us all just want to like party for summer break instead of focusing on saving the world. And there was a scene where Davi, our gold ranger, his line was something about frozen yogurt and he couldn't remember his line. So instead of just going like line or re restarting the scene, um, he just made frozen yogurt the longest line while he was thinking of what to say next. So he's like, and we will eat frozen yogurt. 
and he just went on and on. We're all just staring at him. And it was because he couldn't remember what to say. Um, but yeah, it was really funny. He had to be there. Oh, cool. So this picture, uh, or picture, this page, is me with a lot of my stunt doubles, my stunt team. So we got uh, like Atsu, no, sorry, uh, Atsu, we got Aki, I'm assuming that's Aki. <laughs> I don't know. They're in the suit. There's Aki again. Uh, I think this is Kai. There's Kai, not as um, Zeno Wing. Uh, I think Kai also played our Silver Ranger. Um, yeah, and then this, he was our driving double sometimes when, because uh, I could drive a Jeep, obviously, but like sometimes I wasn't on set or they had to drive really fast and they didn't want me to get hurt, so they had a driving double. Here is Graphite Ranger, and then there's Yoshi, our Blue Ranger, photobombing in the back. There's me doing a selfie with my statue self that I get turned into a statue in one of the episodes. Uh, here's Keeper. Um, here's one of our producers. Here's one of our producers. Here's blue, red, and gold stunt team. Here's younger me. I think this was episode one. You see a picture. Um, I think Shelby, our pink ranger, is flipping through my journal while I'm looking for my dad. Uh, she was one of our acting coaches they hired on set to help us work with our chemistry uh, together before we started filming. So she wasn't actually there while we filmed, but she came in early to help us flesh out our characters and come up with basically just different acting styles and um, techniques. Uh, another monster, I'm assuming Halloween episode. You know, this has been t nine years since it aired, but 10 years almost, I think, since I filmed some of this. So eventually your mind goes a little hazy and you forget things. Uh, oh yeah, so <laughs> we all brought pretty dumb things. Not all of us, it was really just Yoshi and me. Brought pretty dumb things to New Zealand. So he brought two different Spider-Man suits for some reason. Here's me wearing one of them. Um, I believe we went to see Spider-Man in his suits when it, whatever, which I don't even know which one came out at the time, but one of them came out and we went and saw it. Um, so I'm wearing a Spider-Man suit. So he brought that. I brought my giant metal hand balancing like props for some reason to New Zealand. Literally took an entire suitcase and that's what I packed was stuff to do handstands on, which I, I used, I used them a lot, but I could also just do handstands on the floor. Anyway, I don't know, younger me was a dork. I brought my uh, Wii U at the time, the Nintendo system. I brought an Xbox. I played the Nintendo a lot. I never played the Xbox while it was there. <clears throat> but I didn't know how much time we would have, you know? I underestimated how often we'd be on set and uh, yeah. And then more selfies. Here's me with my dad. We look similar age because storyline wise, he stopped aging 10 years prior when he bonded to his Energem, the source of what makes us Power Rangers. So I kind of caught up a bit in age. Uh, here's us doing father-son things in a very beautiful area in New Zealand. Um, yeah, father, 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 Spider-Man. Um, here's the Broshi page, I'm assuming. So Yoshi and I doing a circus trick called a two high where one of us stands on the other's shoulders. Both of us could base each other in this. Uh, here's us, I believe, at the Armageddon Con that I talked about earlier, because we're wearing our Power Ranger shirts. Yoshi fell asleep quite often. He's a pro at napping just immediately, so I had to take a picture of it. Uh, more acrobat stuff. Here's us being Spider-Man, um, you know, instead of Power Rangers. Here's us being shirtless. Um, if you see this wound, I have a Band-Aid on, on my left side. Um, it literally looked like I was shot or stabbed. Neither of those things happened. Uh, I was just swimming and body or and like body surfing and a giant wave just slammed me into the beach really hard and I skidded on my stomach on the sand without a board, hence the, uh, the wound. And of course, that happened to be a time where like a week later I was supposed to do a shirtless scene for the summer vacation partying. And so they had to put a bunch of makeup on it uh, to cover up the wound. All right, next page. Um, it looks up here, Yoshi I think is eating something and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I believe this was a day a buddy of mine from my circus happened to be in New Zealand, like he was biking around New Zealand or something and we were talking on Facebook and so he came and visited on set and I don't know why I remember that but I'm pretty sure this picture was when he came down there. Um, here's Ta Michael Tabor, Yoshi and myself, I think I'm this one this time and that's Yoshi because Yoshi's taller than me, uh, going to go see a Spider-Man movie. Here's Yoshi, myself, and James being shirtless for some reason. Here's my opening credit scene in Power Rangers, you know, like, Britamia as Tyler. Um, us in the Dino Bite Cafe, which is our kind of base of operations. She had like Ernie's Juice Bar and Mighty Morphin, so we had the Dino Bite Cafe where we worked. Uh, here was an episode where we got to do a bunch of training, which was really cool. So I was doing a handstand, Yoshi did a side flip over me. Um, 
it was fun because we got to run around and do different skill sets. And they didn't put all of it into the episode. Like I do a one-arm handstand somewhere else and they didn't use it. Uh, here's Yoshi and I again. Don't know where we are, what we're doing, but hooray, being friends. Uh, <laughs> I think Yoshi jumped behind a pumpkin that was hanging up in this Halloween episode in the Dynabite Cafe to make it look like he had a pumpkin head. Um, he succeeded. So this picture, we were actually copying Kyoruger, which is the Super Sentai. It was Yoshi's idea because they made this face and then Yoshi wanted us to mimic it and make the faces that they all did. So that's us doing that. Um, this was us running through a forest to go fight heroically. And then here's us after we morphed running through a forest to fight heroically. Um, this was the episode where Gold Ranger, Pink Ranger, myself, Davi, Camille, me, um, we were losing oxygen because we were getting buried by some bad guy. And so we passed out, but someone saved us, some other crayon colored Power Ranger. Um, just fun behind the scenes, you know, with the, cl the clapboard, um, posing. Don't know what's happening, but we're all smiling. So it must've been nice. <laughs> this picture up in the corner is us training with Alpha Stunts. So a lot of these people were the people you would see in the monster suits uh, or us when we were Power Rangers. So we all pretty much trained alongside the one who would double us the most. So I would train with Aki the most, Yoshi would train with Kai the most. Um, yeah, it's just great group of people. I love them. This one was the episode where Davi, our Gold Ranger, because he's supposed to be a knight, right, from like a long time ago, and he was preserved and then and a bad guy and never aged, and then he escapes. And he meets his um, descendant, who is like doing graffiti and stuff. So he got to play two different characters. It was just cool how they film it. Like, he's playing both. But then when he's talking and it's like the back of the head to one, it's a stunt double standing there so you don't realize it's not him both times. Uh, this one, oh, I think we did a cast and writers like dinner or lunch or something. So this, and we went out on a little trip. So that's us hanging out with that. This was the body swap episode. So <laughs> I swapped with Camille, hence that's why I'm wearing the pink clothes and she's wearing the red clothes. So it was just cool being able to act as each other and then kind of asking each other like, so how would you do this scene? You know, just so I make sure it looks like I'm playing you. And then when we did ADR, which is audio dialogue recording, uh, we had to dub each other because they wanted our voices to still sound like each other. So when Camille talked, my voice came out. When I talked, her voice came out. And then more Power Rangers. Uh, this is one of our uh, promo pictures. So one of the only times we actually wore the suit that was tailored to our bodies. You know, so like this picture versus this picture, different suit. This is the Super Sentai suits. They're a little shinier than ours. Uh, and they sent them from Japan for us to be announced at Power Morphicon. And then this one is when they made our suits specifically for us. No, we didn't get to keep them, unfortunately. I don't even know what they did with them though. Like, are they just sitting in a box somewhere? Probably. Uh, this was my going away party. So everyone in this picture was working with me at the San Diego Zoo at the time. So these are all acrobats and it was sad. I, where was this? Was this, um, it's in San Diego, but I can't remember the name. It's a dog friendly restaurant. Anyway, yeah, that's that. So going away party. Um, this was us at the airport, either just arriving in New Zealand or just before we left. This is at my mom's house. Uh, she threw a little going away party for me too. And obviously they didn't have a dino charge balloon at the time. So we got um, super mega force behind me. I believe that's super mega force. Um, this is funny because, okay, this guy in this Power Ranger Megazord, um, I met him before I was a Power Ranger. So this is, I think I went to Morphicon. This is from Morphicon before I was a Power Ranger. My friend Steven Ford was the red Common Rider Dragon Knight. And then I met him again at a con after I was a Power Ranger. And he's like, I was the guy in the, the Megazord suit that you took a picture with before you were the red Ranger. And then we took another picture, so it was cool. Uh, again, another promo shot. This was me as a little kid when my mom hired someone to be the Green Ranger to come to my birthday party. So, Destiny. From very young age. See, I'm not lying. Some people are like, were you really a fan of Power Rangers? Yes, I was. Not that people really think I'm lying about that, but if you thought I was, I wasn't. Next page. Okay, a lot of acrobatic stuff going on here. This is called a human flag pole, or a human flag. Um, again, I do circus stuff. Oh, look, I'm wearing a Power Ranger belt buckle. Uh, there is me as Spider-Man holding my wife. There's me doing one-arm handstand, one-arm handstand, two-arm handstand. This trick is called a hollow back, where you arch back like that. Um, hand to hand, so this is where you base someone in a handstand. Um, this is called a croc, 
Um, some people call it a plonge, but it's really a croc. That's just a handstand, but in a Power Ranger suit. Another croc, another hollow back. Um, there's me as a comic, I guess. Um, here's me frozen. Here's me with the, the T-Rex smasher. This I took a picture with because I was like, really, there's quicksand in New Zealand? Like, that's not a prop sign. That's legit. My wife and I were just on a hike and we came across a danger quicksand sign. And I was like, where do I not step so I don't sink in? Uh, I never actually found the quicksand. Or if I did, I didn't know I did. Um, yeah, some other behind the scenes photos. Uh, Night of Xandar, me holding my Energem, uh, and then some fan art that was sent to us. Again, why do I keep having this picture <laughs> at Saban Studios. Uh, this was episode one. If you look closely, my hair actually changes in that scene before, because uh, I block a couple shots with a shovel that Ice Age shoots at us, and you see sparks and stuff because they actually put charges on the ground that was practical effects. Um, but when I look at it after I go like, score, and then I look at the shovel and it's on fire, uh, my hair changes because we did a reshoot. So my hair wasn't exactly the same when we did a reshoot for that scene. I don't know why we did a reshoot. Maybe it just didn't look right or they wanted it slightly different. Um, here's part of us doing the morphing sequence that they filmed. So I'm standing on a lazy Susan. That's the thing that it's called that spins in a circle. So we did it in like a white suit, a black suit, and then the full on ranger suit. Um, I have some padding around my neck, I think at that exact moment to keep the makeup from staining the white collar. And then they take it off right before we film. Here's me on a hike with my friend Neil with my waterproof Bible, um, just in nature somewhere. This was before we started filming, because again, my hair is still really long, um, so they haven't cut it yet for filming, but we are in New Zealand and we got frozen yogurt somewhere and we're holding spoons that match our ranger colors. Yoshi and I as Spider-Man, plus Caitlin. Uh, here's us at Morphicon when we were first announced. Here's me on the motorcycle. Uh, when I got off on this, it fell on me and it bruised my elbow really bad. Uh, Caitlin and myself, she actually is in multiple episodes of Dino Charge uh, as an extra. So I bring her food in the Dino Bite Cafe. She loses her memory in an episode where Riley's running a marathon and everyone who drinks like the rehydration fluid um, loses their memory. So she's walking around having lost her memory. She plays our Black Ranger's girlfriend in a flashback in one of the episodes in a push-up contest that she beats him in. Uh, doing ADR, so again, the audio dialogue recording, so I have my headphones on, and then they play the clip from the episode you're gonna do it. You hear three beeps, it goes like dee, 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 and then you say your lines, like, unleash the power, or whatever it is. This was at Puzzle World, which was somewhere in New Zealand, so it was just like a cool optical illusion place. Uh, us getting ice cream one of many, many times. Um, the end, or is it just the beginning? Ooh, I'm so cryptic. And then just other pictures um, from us walking around in the suit. So, it uh, looks like we've made it through the scrapbook, but I know all of you are wondering with bated breath, what was the prize and did I win it? So, I mean, obviously who made the best scrapbook? It's kind of subjective, but I made the best scrapbook. <laughs> when we got to chip our producer who challenged us all to make a scrapbook. And he's like, yeah, I get a prize at the end of the eight months. And I was like, okay, so what do I win? And he's like, you won the best scrapbook. So you win a scrapbook full of memories of your time here. And I was like, are you serious? So literally the prize was just the scrapbook that he kind of coerced us into making. So, I mean, it really is a cool prize because now I get to share it with you guys. But I honestly thought there was a real prize. Like maybe I get to keep a prop from the show or something cool like Keeper Staff. No, it was just, I had a uh, scrapbook that I made and that was my prize. Hooray. So thanks Chip, I appreciate it. I mean, I really do. Um, so now that we've gotten through the scrapbook, I have a ton more behind the scenes photos and videos I wanna share with you guys in this video right here.